Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here at Sweetwater. I'm sitting down with the Casio Privia PXS3000 stage piano. This stage piano is the newest addition to the Privia line and has 88 keys as stage pianos do and scaled hammer action keys that have five sensitivity levels so that gives you a good amount of expression. It also weighs only 24 pounds and can run on batteries so that makes this a super portable instrument that you can take anywhere. The PXS3000 is compatible with the Cordana Play app which also works with the S1000 which is a keyboard in the same line, it's a step below from this one, few less features. But if you want to check that one out, I do more of an in-depth look at the Cordana Play app. So we'll link that video to the S1000 below. The PXS3000 has 700 tones and 200 rhythms. The tones include grand piano, of course. Electric pianos. Organs. String sounds. One thing to mention that's very cool about this keyboard is it does have an input for expression pedal. Also has several pads, which include synth pads, but also choir sounds. And in the category called others, there's a bunch of other kind of sounds. So you have everything from wind instruments to a lot of world instruments, you know, kind of uh, more interesting things like sitar, stuff like that. So here's a breathy alto sax. The rhythm and accompaniment features on this keyboard are pretty typical, pretty standard things, you know, where when you play chords, uh, the keyboard will recognize the harmonies and it'll adjust the accompaniment pattern. Of course, you can also play the rhythms without the accompaniment pattern on if you wish. Um, one cool thing about this keyboard is you can start and stop the rhythms and also add in fills and intro um, and endings with the keys if you want to. Of course, you can do it with the buttons here, which is standard. The low F will start the beat and stop it. So that's kind of like your start stop button. Then the E key will sync the ending, so it will go into the ending, the pre-programmed ending. Then D is variation, and then C is normal, right? So for instance, let me show you.
You can also switch between accompaniment and rhythm using the keyboard as well. So the low A right here will switch. So now I'm on accompaniment, now I'm on rhythm. So on rhythm, the accompaniment's off when I turn it on. Now I'm getting the accompaniment chord playback. The recording feature will allow you to record yourself playing, but also the rhythm track as well, including any fills and any variations you add. So here's an example. And now I can listen back to what I recorded and I can play over the top of it if I want to. This does have pitch bend. And it has two knobs over here which can be used to control various settings. The top one right here, for example, is used to control cutoff right now. So you might notice with the exception of this side of the keyboard that has physical buttons and controls, the most of it is all touch, right? So, you know, if I'm doing like this, changing the tempo up and down, going back, cycling between different sounds. It's all touch sensitive buttons. It's really easy to use. Now if I go to piano and I keep clicking piano or I go to electric piano and I keep clicking it, now I'm cycling through different categories within each major instrument category. So if I go to piano, now I'm on piano one, concert grand, I can keep cycling with the plus button and I'm going through different pianos. But now if I want to skip ahead to the next category and I push piano again, now I'm on harpsichord. And eventually I cycle back to the beginning of piano. This is especially useful when there are a lot of sounds in a particular category. So like in the category called Others, which has everything from synths to guitars and uh, wind instruments, uh, you know, there's something like 400 sounds just in that one category, so you wouldn't want to have to go one by one, plus, plus, plus. So you can click Others, and now I'm Jazz Guitar. If I keep going now, I'm in Basses. Cycle through a few others. But now if I want to skip ahead to a completely different category, now I'm in Brass. can keep going ahead, solo flute. Now I'm in saw lead sounds. If I press the down arrow, I go down into the rhythm menu, which has all the different rhythm tracks that you can use. If I press again, now I'm in a control menu which lets you do things like control your DSP effects, transpose the keyboard, you can control what these two knobs are sent to, what they're controlling. Um, arpeggiator, it does have an arpeggiator. And this is where you turn on the split function which splits keyboard and layer to layer multiple sounds. Right now I'm just on an electric piano sound. If I click split, now I have bass in the left hand. And then if I click layer, because I can split and layer at the same time, now I have strings and electric piano and bass. The DSP effects include classic things like chorus, for example. Or how about phaser? and several others, so flanger as well, tremolo,
There's some wackier ones, like here's LFO Wah. Also ring modulator. Distortion. Drive. There's also amp cabinet simulators as well. So here's with it on. Here's with it off. Below control, there's a registration menu which has various banks that you can store your sounds in. So you get everything dialed up, you get it exactly like you want, and then you can recall things. So here's bank one, two, three, four. I.O. includes a damper pedal or a sustain pedal, input for a pedal unit. There's also an audio in, which is an eighth inch. So if you want to play music that you're practicing, say there's a MP3 or something that you're practicing to, you can plug it in and it'll play through the speakers and you can practice to it. There's also left and right out, quarter inch out, and there's also an expression pedal input. Also, it does have headphone jacks, which are located over here, and those are eighth inch. This has been a look at the Casio Privia PXS3000. If you'd like to learn more about it or you have any questions, you can call your Sweetwater sales engineer and they'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.